welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Today we're going to look at David's second point from Psalm 17 this past Sunday. That point was the call for protection is dependent on divine intervention. And we see here uh, the psalmist really calling out in verses 6 through 12 uh, for the Lord's provision and protection of him. He needs the Lord to intervene to save him from his enemies. He needs the Lord's providence. And when we think about how under our understanding of the Lord's providence and his protection for us affects our prayers, it really is the, the point of faith, right? If we're offering prayers, but we're depending on ourselves, then our prayers are double-minded. We're not praying with a with an integrity there. We're praying uh, really as a formality. Really, we want to come praying like people who believe the Lord answers prayers, like people who have faith in the Lord's providence, who trust in divine intervention when it is needed. So let me encourage you, examine your life. Where are those areas where you're not going before the Lord, trusting in His providence and His protection, but you are really maybe either not praying about something or you're praying about it in a really kind of a way that's a formality when you're really trying to figure it out on your own. Let me encourage you to repent of those things, to seek the Lord for deliverance and for His providence, His protection, and to wait. Wait patiently for the Lord, trusting in His providence and His protection for you. Uh, we need to understand, friends, that we are a people empowered by God. We are a people subject to God and His sovereign rule over our lives and over the universe. And we should pray like we believe that. That's a place where, to go to what we said yesterday, that's a place where our uh, doctrine and life need to match up. Our prayer life needs to reflect one who believes in the sovereignty of God and who cherishes the sovereign providence and protection of God for all his people. So let me encourage you, spend some time today praising the Lord for his providence, praising the Lord for his protection, and asking him to reveal to you any ways that you're not trusting in those. And then pray like the prayer in Mark 9, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. We want to trust in God's intervention where it is needed. Amen. Well, my friends, I hope this is a blessing and an encouragement to you. I pray that it's a blessing to you as you continue to think on uh, the truth that David taught us from the Psalm, Psalm 17 this past Sunday. I uh, love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace Today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.